You're listening to Left at the Valley 2.0, Atheist, Skeptic, and Humanist Radio. Hi, this is Professor Edwin Hodge. I'm from the University of Victoria, and I took a left at the valley. I know we shouldn't have to scream that we're atheists. You know, we don't have non-astrologers and all that. But with the religious people taking over the world, I mean, we can either speak up or be pushed into a corner. I'm proud to be an atheist, a skeptic, a non-believer, an infidel, a heathen. I call it how I see it. I say it's ignorance and you just call it faith and unsubstantiated claims. That's something to be ashamed. I'm an atheist. Coming to you from Frisian, B.C., Bleak, Florida, Alger, Texas, and Brumo, Minnesota, this is the Valley 2.0. My name is Kevin, and I tell you not to believe everything you see in public bathrooms. Sharon is not up for a good time. That was an awkward phone call. <laughs> nice. Why are you making these kind of calls? I think we need to talk. <laughs> Joining me as usual is a team that wonders, is if a parsley farmer gets sued, can he garnish his wages? <laughs> <laughs> she realized strap on spell backwards is no parts. Sabrina. No parts. Hi. <laughs> he yelled into a colander. It strained his voice. Red Lee. I did. I did. <laughs> He'll tell you that drugs lead to nowhere, but at least it's a scenic route. Benjamin. Yeah. <laughs> and it's so cold in her place. She farted snowflakes. Hertzy. Oh God! I love it. Fact. <laughs> so many facts. Guys, yeah, welcome back. <laughs> uh, so it hasn't warmed up there. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> well, and I think, this episode is I brought to you by our hero. <laughs> <laughs> including Mary T, who is so bright the sun wears shades. Looking at her. All right, and today we'll be talking to Tracy Harris and Jen Belk in the second half of the show. But first, this is our usual chit chat. <laughs> Oh boy. What you yes. got for us? Uh, what's that? What you got for us, Kevin? What I got for you? Perfect. Uh you know you, you guys remember the uh, Cyber Ninjas? Well, yes. Oh yes. Okay. Yeah. That was a firm that was hired by the GOP to find the uh, so called millions and millions of fraudulent votes. Okay, yeah, yeah. In Arizona. I remember that. Looking for mm-hmm. the bamboo and all yeah, that, you know. Which denied Trump is a rightful place as king of America. <laughs> uh <laughs> well, I the Florida, the, talking about this. I know, right? <laughs> the Florida company is shutting down. Oh, all what? Of, yep, all employees have been let go. Oh, um, there's a judge in uh, Maricopa County uh, Superior Court that imposed fifty thousand dollars per day to the company until they handed over documents related to the audit. Uh, apparently, wow. they refused to do so. Well, I'm not surprised because there's yeah. really no documents there to hand Nothing. over. In right, case you were right. wondering uh, about the cyber ninjas, they had absolutely no previous experience you know, on election audits. <laughs> they were kind of put in there. No. Uh, she weren't in there. <laughs> I don't know, I'm, right? I'm, I'm so, uh, just shocked. The, the county official in uh, Mar- uh, Mar- Mar- Maricopa County um, released a report concluding that the cyber ninjas uh, made nearly 80 claims that were misleading or false in their audit. That's it? Uh, <laughs> yeah. I know, right? That's actually Wait, how many pages was that? Like one per page? <laughs> <It doesn't laughs> <Right. say. laughs> Did the wide um, font? Of course, the ballots <laughs> were examined for traces of bamboo, and apparently, they sent, uh, the the uh, cyber ninjas sent truckloads of ballots were sent to a cabin in Montana for a secretive examination. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Why okay. were they looking for bamboo? Can, can they were looking for bamboo because I'm, they, I'm totally ignorant at the time. On this. They were they, they, they were thinking that China had interfered in the election in Arizona County somehow. So they were looking for bamboo traces on the ballot to somehow prove that they had been sent to China or the uh, you know some stupid Chinese connection. Wow. It was, it was an assumption that China uses bamboo paper, oh, which yeah. is also yeah. interesting because I talked to somebody and they're like, actually, what they do is they use rice waste product. So it that makes more sense. Yeah, it makes a lot more sense. So, so you're telling me they were just being racist when they were assuming that the <laughs> Chinese people <laughs> used bamboo? Much. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> here, here's here's the deal, right? So they sent him to a cabin in Montana. So you know that full well that somebody who worked for them was like, I "Need a vacation? <laughs> Let's send him to a cabin in Montana. That's what we'll do." <laughs> Yeah. And that way the company can pay for me to just hang out in Montana and yeah. randomly look for things. 
Yeah. I got you got to use the expense account and uh yeah, it's yeah. totally uh <laughs> Okay, as a look, accountant? No. <laughs> look, John, 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 you cannot use the expense account for hookers and blow. How many times do I have to tell you? <laughs> okay, what yeah, about hookers and beer? Hooters hooters and beer? Hooters okay. It's fine. Montana. They're not going to find that much hookers and blow. Hook we're just hooters putting and beer. Some on a bed and just rolling hooters and beer. Oh. <laughs> I well, anyway, in case in case you forget, <laughs> the audit eventually that the Cyber Ninjas did actually revealed that Biden won with an even larger margin right. than originally, <laughs> which was about 45,000 votes that he beat Trump in. So. And oh, they well. turned in all their swords and nunchucks and won home. I know, right? Uh -huh. And then it just disappeared back into the sewers with the Ninja Turtles. <laughs> <laughs> you have, you have, oh, you're not sure. Trump is still talking about it. Yeah. Like, <laughs> come on, dude. Anyway, all yeah. right. In medical news, a new study indicates that multiple sclerosis is a delayed response to an infection with the Epstein Barr virus, according to a study of 10 million former military personnel. Hmm. This is interesting because hmm. MS attacks the myelin sheath that actually protects the brain and the spiral nerves. The Epstein Barr virus is a herpes of a double stranded DNA viruses that is transmitted through kissing, spitting, or sharing food. Mm -hmm. Most common effects are is a mononucleosis. It's also uh, it's also looked at, at it's also um, uh, been uh, the effect of uh, causing some blood rare blood cancers. So uh, this yeah. this was actually uh, an advance because it actually kind of proves that there's a there's a there's a uh, not just a correlation here but a causation. This was the first study, study proving that the causation of the uh, uh, Epstein uh, Barr virus mm -hmm. is causing MS. So now oh, the uh, science will now target the uh, Epstein Barr virus to mm -hmm. stop MS via mRNA technology that's been pushed forward. No. Yes. Oh, that's cool. Forward with, no, uh, that's not possible because yeah. MNRA, it, it, it just screws it's with your DNA, don't you know? <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's right. bamboo in the mRNA. <laughs> Changes it from a helix to a triangle. Okay. So the COVID, <laughs> so the COVID vaccine is supposed to sterilize us, right? Yes. So if we mm -hmm. take another MNR vaccine, does that mean it would unsterilized or does that mean we're double sterilized uh, it's going to be double sterilized and then you're going to give birth to the antichrist something like that <laughs> yeah. sense, you know. i'm okay yeah. with half Isn't... of that sentence yeah. <laughs> yeah. giving birth just to... now <laughs> you gotta stay with the with the, the conspiracy right? mm -hmm. so this this yeah. is very good news on the on the, on the medical front yeah it is um ms has effects on a lot of people mm -hmm. and it's not a fun thing to live with uh, of course, uh, uh, this virus isn't the only cause of MS. Uh, probably not, but so far, apparently, for most of the causes, apparently, that's what it is. Hmm. This virus. Interesting. And it's wow. a virus, like I said, it's usually you know transmitted from yep. person to person easily. Uh, some people, they will de de develop MS, and others apparently don't. So And also rare cancers, which isn't surprising. Yeah, with... exactly. Mm -hmm. So that's good. That's good. That's good news. Hmm. And, uh, Interesting. In uh, geographical news, I guess, um, there's an undersea volcano that erupted near the Pacific nation of Tonga uh, yesterday, you know, on mm -hmm. Saturday. Um, Tonga is a small island uh, near Fiji uh, in the Pacific. Uh, it's a bit above New Zealand if you're trying to locate yourself there, you know, between New Zealand and Hawaii kind of place, mm -hmm. right? Um, the internet crashed at Tonga at about uh, 6.40 p.m. local time. Um, Tonga gets the internet via an undersea cable from Suva in Fiji. Um, a parts of the Pacific coastal region, including BC right here, where she is issued a uh, tsunami warning. Really? Uh, so was Hawaii and Alaska. So, yeah. Hmm. So the, uh, uh, so they, they're keeping a close eye on this volcano here. It's an un underwater volcano. Uh, the surface of Tonga apparently is nearly expanded by 45% due to uh, ash fall. So the scientific community <laughs> is monitoring the activity and we'll keep an eye on it as well. Did you, did wow. you guys see the, uh, like the underwater explosion through the infrared? No, no, no. I did not. Oh man, it's fucking crazy looking. Like it, it looks like you're at the beginning of a Godzilla esque movie, yeah. and you're just waiting to see. You know. You see oh, oh there's there's also a video of the shockwaves through the atmosphere. It's crazy. Oh yeah, really? yeah, that's right. Yeah, oh, that <laughs> we need to do yeah. more research before we start the show. That's yeah, what I'm have to look that up. That's for sure. <laughs> it was crazy. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, yeah. Uh, so perfect. Uh, perfect. Wow. Yeah, so this is interesting news. We'll keep it on it. I, I, I was told apparently underwater vol volcano is actually more explosive than uh, the ones that are above water. Hmm. I, I'm assuming it has to do with water pressure and, you know, creating expanding gases and stuff like that. So that's going to be right. a cool thing to look at. Random thing, though, too. So Sony's putting up a small satellite in space, 
right? That you can essentially rent for 10 minutes at a time and control where you look. Oh. No, that's oh. brilliant. I would do that. I Hell yeah. Very Birthday nervous. Present. Want to spy on your neighbor? <laughs> Yeah. yeah, it's like, okay. So the camera's not so good. You're going to be able to super zoom in on people. It's not going to be like super spy satellite, but it's going to be good enough that you can see things. That's so oh, okay. Cool. That's, That's fun. Cool. Yeah. And next to so our Jewish space laser, <laughs> Margaret Taylor Green will be right. <laughs> oh, perfect. <laughs>